Hello everyone, good evening. <clears throat> good evening and welcome tonight to our special edition of prayers for this week. This week, as you all know, is a week popularly referred to as the Holy Week. Yes, this is the Holy Week in the Christian calendar. And our prayer will be extracted from the saints on the cross. I'm pretty sure you know all about the saints on the cross. There were seven of them. And there is absolutely no way we'll be able to look at all seven and pray about all seven in two days. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one saint on the cross today and then we'll take the other saint on the cross tomorrow. May the Lord preserve our lives beyond tomorrow. Tonight, we will consider number three saying on the cross. Saying number three. We will use that saying to pray a couple of prayers like we did several years ago. Several years ago, we did that. But because of how important this saying is, we will use it again to pray tonight. The one for tomorrow, I don't believe we've ever used it on this prayer line, but this one we've got to use it because I think we all need it. It is a truth that is forever new. It is a truth that is forever fresh and also forever needed. The more I look at the life of Jesus, the more I see so many things that are worthy of being used as prayer themes. The third saying on the cross is just one of them. Don't forget to help us share the link so that others can join us and be blessed by this powerful saying on the cross. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this assembly of tonight. Thank you for being with us. Since the last time we left this place, we bless you for watching over us and we thank you for keeping us. Lord, here's another opportunity to draw closer to you. We pray that you will use the prayers of tonight to do that for us. We take authority over every hindering spirit. We pray that we'll be able to pray without any blockage, hindrance whatsoever. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody said amen. The third saying on the cross is recorded in John chapter 19. I'm going to read from verse 26 to verse 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother... And the disciple standing by whom he loved. He saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that very hour, that disciple took her into his own home. Now, they always tell us that the words of a dying person are very important. We take them as serious words and we value them above what the person even spoke while they were alive. The main and the major lesson here is very simple. Jesus specializes in connecting helpers to his people. That's what it is here. Jesus specializes in connecting helpers to his people. It's so important to him that he made it one of his closing actions on earth, connecting his mother to a much needed, for a much needed issue 
in her life. It is very true that the Bible says, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's what the Bible says. It shall supply all our needs. Yes. But you realize that close to 100% of the times, God uses people to meet those needs. Just look into your life, for example. Many of the good things that have happened in your life up until now were as a result of God connecting you to the right people. That's just the truth. Your life can become different when God himself connects you to someone that can be a blessing to you. Your business can be transformed Your finances, your education, your ministry, the list is unending. When you are connected to the right people, it's a blessing. So God connects people to people. Don't ever forget that. God connects people to people to help fulfill his purposes in their lives. Take Elijah, for example. You know how spiritual Elijah was, you know. Yet he stood in need of connection at a point in his life for someone to help him. No matter how spiritual a man may be, what we are praying tonight is an absolute necessity. You can never outgrow divine connection. It's impossible. There was a famine in the land. You remember Elijah's situation? Elijah was never affected by it. Because of divine connection to three distinct helpers. That famine that never affected Elijah was because God connected him to three distinct helpers. God first connected him to a body of water where he drank from. And then God connected him to ravens that brought him food. Then when the connection ended... God connected him to a widow woman whom he commanded to take care of Elijah as long as the famine lasted. Pretty interesting. Others in the land at that time were adversely affected by the famine, but Elijah was not because of divine connection to help us. Very, very important. We also read about connection to help us in Mark chapter 2. Is a story of how the man that had the palsy was helped through the roof in order to reach Jesus who was in the house. You think of it, if he was not connected to, by those who carried him, he would not have been connected to Jesus who healed him. My friends, we all need people to carry us once in a while. Now back to the story of Jesus, Mary, and John. One of the last acts of Jesus was to connect his mommy, his mother, to this lifetime helper. I want you to notice my choice of words. This was a lifetime helper. There are helpers that are just for a short time. There are helpers like the ravens, like the brook, like the widow woman. Those were temporary helpers. Short time help us to Elijah. But there are lifetime helpers like John was to Mary. These are helpers who never run out of resources to help you and who never get tired of helping or start seeing you as a burden, as a problem. This trouble is too much. How blessed Mary was. She never suffered in life. And John was blessed too. Because John was the disciple that lived longest. And he was a disciple that died a natural death. Maybe, I don't know, for Mary's sake. I just pray for you that your divinely appointed helpers will not die while you need them. You know, some people don't realize this. The helpers in your life may be just temporary helpers. They help you to a point, and then another people take over. 
They help you solve a problem. They stay with you to a point, And then God moves them out. You know, we get angry. Oh, why did the, why did the water dry up? Uh, why did the ravens disappear? No, God is moving you to another helper. Who is the widow woman? But there are helpers that God sends into your life that are permanent. So it depends on how God wants to work it out. So I want to appeal to you. Don't get angry when uh, the river dries up. It served its purpose in your life. Don't get angry when the ravens don't show up again. They've served the purpose in your life. But do you know what? You will not suffer because God will replace them. And then you don't go around saying, you see now, you see now, you abandon me. Uh, like they say in my village, you removed your mat, but God has spread his own mat. No, 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 don't have that kind of attitude. There are some helpers that are there temporarily. There are some helpers that are there just for a short time. But there are helpers that, that are there like John was to Mary that are for the long run. You know, I look at Jesus choosing Mary and I just shake my head. You know why? This lady called Mary had other children. All right? Jesus was not the only child of Mary. So why did God not, why did Jesus not connect Mary to his siblings? I don't know. But God knows. So leave it to God. Even if people in your family, your blood brothers, your blood sisters don't want to help, there's someone from outside that will help. And God will always choose the right person for you. He may not choose your brother. He may not choose your sister. But he will choose the right person for you. Not his siblings. For Mary. But he surely connected his mother to the right person. Helping her with no strings attached. By the way, why don't you let God use you tonight also to connect some people to this prayer line? I made the announcement earlier. It's as simple as sharing the link to the platform you are on. By doing that, you will be connecting them to powerful prayers that can very well change their lives forever. I got a lot of prayer points tonight, at least 60 of them. So I'm going to stop here so we can go and pray that God will send help us into your life, connect you with them. You know, sometimes you have a medical problem and there is a doctor you are seeing who doesn't have a clue as to how the problem will be solved. You know, God in his mercy may just connect you to another doctor. Maybe by someone just saying, why don't you go see this doctor here? Why don't you go see that doctor there? There are many, 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 many divine helpers out there. We just have to believe and pray tonight that God will connect us. Jesus Christ said, Mother, behold your son. I'm dying. This is your son. Son, behold your mother. And from that point, Mary never even went back home. Mary went to the house of John and lived there at least till the Bible says nothing about Mary and John anymore. We're going to go before God now and begin with thanksgiving. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you for bringing me to this prayer line this holy week. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you for gathering us together from all across the world uh, to be here tonight, to pray together and to seek your face together. Come on, give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him dominion. Give him majesty. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to this place of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for how you've been praying, how, how, how Jesus has been praying and interceding for us. And now it's our turn for tonight to pray, to call on God. Father, we just praise you for this great opportunity to call upon you. We bless your name. First of all, though, for your protection on our lives, for your provision for us. We give you praise. We give you glory. This last Thursday of this year, we thank you for how you've allowed us to see this day. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Thank God for the prayers of last week and the power that God released into your life. 
Oh, how we need power in our lives to do so many things. Father, we thank you for the power that you released on this prayer line last week. Thank you because the power will get stronger and stronger for you every day in all areas of your life. Father God, I praise you. Father God, I worship you. Father God, I adore you because your power in my life will get stronger and stronger. In the mighty name of Jesus, your power in my life will not get weaker and weaker. I reject that. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank God for Jesus suffering for you like he did on the cross. And he was still able to say some mighty things. Father, I thank you for sending your son who came and died on the cross of Calvary and was buried and resurrected again. And we were able to celebrate his death and resurrection even this weekend before us. Thank you, Lord, for suffering for us so we, cannot, we may not suffer. Thank you, Lord God, for dying for us so we may not die eternally. Glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your name. Come on, thank Jesus for laying down his life for you and for laying down his life for me. He didn't have to, but he did anyway. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we are really and truly grateful that you came and you died and you selflessly gave your son to die for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank Jesus for the suffering that is suffered for you, for the suffering that is suffered for us all on that cross of Calvary. Thank him for laying down his life. Thank him for the seven closing words of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. You know, everything Jesus said, they were all significant. Bless his name for the beautiful connection that we read between mother and John. What a mighty God we serve. I read that in awe. That how come suffering on the cross? He still remembered mommy. He still remembered this lady need to be connected to somebody to take care of her. And he surely did that. And I know if he did that for his mother, he will do that for you too. Thank God for these beautiful connections. I want you to thank God. The beautiful connections in your life that you've had over the years. Many of us, God, God has sent helpers into our lives in the past. Many of us are enjoying the power and the, the beauty and the grace of helpers. Even right now, in the name of Jesus, I was thinking as I was preparing for this program... And I was thinking about the helpers that are in my life right now. Some of them have just come in. Some of them have been in for a long time. You see, we all need helpers and we all have helpers. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you for the helpers that are in my life right now. I give you praise for the present one. I give you praise for the ones that have helped me and have walked away. I'm even sorry for being angry that they walked away. No need to be angry. They served their time. They did what they needed to do. They moved on. And I'm still here. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. Thank you because you are ever mindful of my needs. Hallelujah. You know, God is ever mindful for, to those in need, especially me, especially you. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him majesty for God being so concerned about you and I. Hallelujah. Thank him for the past. Thank him for the present. I feel like saying that all again. The past helpers that have gone. The present helpers that are here and the future helpers that God will still send connected to you. Father, we glorify you, we praise you, and we worship you. I want you to pray that the Lord will lead us as we pray for more divine connections wherever they are needed and whenever they are needed. That the Lord will just lead us as we pray. The Lord will guide us as we pray. The Lord will give us the prayer points that we need as we pray tonight the connections that we will need whenever we need them and wherever we need them. Some of you, it's not the city where you live now that you will need your connections. It may be another city entirely. Father God, we bless you. We worship you because you are always thinking of us and you are always planning great and mighty things about us and for us. I want you to pray that sin and unbelief will not hinder our prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from every sin, will cleanse you from every unrighteousness, will cleanse you from anything and everything 
that could hinder your prayers tonight. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone on this prayer line tonight. Where there is sin, sin in the word, sin in deed, sin in actions. I pray that the blood of Jesus will wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want you to pray right now that, Lord, I, if I regard iniquity in my heart, I know you will not hear me. I pray that whatever I might have done today, maybe yesterday, maybe the day before yesterday, that I did not even know it was a sin of ignorance. I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing that you will wash me and cleanse me tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's come against unbelief. Father, deliver us from unbelief tonight and cleanse us from all forms of unbelief in our hearts and in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let unbelief not stand between us and you, O God. Help us to believe you, help us to trust you, to see the goodness of the Lord concerning these prayers. I want you to pray for strength tonight also, Lord, release strength. Everybody say, Lord, release strength. Everybody say, Lord, release strength. Release strength, release strength, release strength to each and every one of us as we pray tonight. Father, release strength unto us, O God. Give us strength as we pray. Empower us and energize us as we call on you tonight. Father, release strength unto me as I lead the prayers, release strength unto your people as they pray the prayers. I see many people who are supposed to be sleeping in Africa right now that are with us. I pray that God will release strength unto you to stay up and to stay awake. Many of you have been busy all day, walking up and down, and now you are here for prayer. May the Lord release his strength into your life so you'll be able to stay up and stay awake and stay alert and get your connection. Hallelujah. And get your connection in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you will just strength, send strength to those with us in, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in East Africa. I see uh, Bishop Oyengu with us tonight. God bless you, my brother. May the Lord give you strength in the name of Jesus. I see Pastor Matthew. May God give you strength in Nigeria. And I see someone from Ghana a few minutes. I saw someone from Ghana a few minutes ago. May God give you strength, my brother. May God release strength to those of us in the Caribbean island, in Canada, in the United States. Uh, hallelujah. In South America, wherever you may be tonight. Uh, may the Lord release strength to you. May the Lord release grace to you. To be able to pray, I feel strengthened even right now. I'm not lying. I feel strengthened even just because of that prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, infuse strength, release strength to each and every one of us as we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, my Father, my Father, my Father. I want you to make this, this confession. This is a confession, oh, and it's a true confession. Say, my Father, I cannot make it without correct connection. Yeah. Say, oh Lord, I cannot make it without correct connection. I want you to say, Lord, please don't leave me unconnected to help us. Papa, don't leave me unconnected to help us. Papa, don't leave me unconnected to help us. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Tell the Lord you cannot live without correct connection. <clears throat> because there are incorrect connections. So, but I'm talking about correct connections. I want you to pray that the Lord will connect you. Uh, the Lord will not leave you unconnected. Uh, say, Papa, don't leave me unconnected to help us. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, help us concerning my health. Uh, help us concerning my finances. Uh, help us concerning my marriage. Uh, help us concerning my plans. Uh, oh, Lord, don't leave me unconnected. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can you imagine what would have happened to Elijah if God had left him unconnected? Uh, but God wouldn't leave us unconnected. He will not. He's too good a God. If he can do it on the cross, yes, as suffering as he was, he can do it in heaven where he's seated at the right hand of the Father, not hanging on a cross somewhere. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will stretch out your hand, O God. Don't leave us unconnected, O God, in the name of Jesus. Don't leave us unconnected, O God. We are in need connection and I don't even know I need connection. 
connection. Papa, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me. We are not praying for connection, but you know I need it. Father, give me connection. We don't even know that connection is what I need. Papa, have mercy upon me and connect me, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, I happen to live in a country right now where people believe in self-sufficiency. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, say, deliver me from self-sufficiency, O in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the pride of I cannot ask anybody for anything. I cannot beg anybody for anything. I don't want anyone to help me. I can help myself. Oh Lord, deliver me from the pride of self-sufficiency. Deliver, deliver me from the, uh, from the pride of independence. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, come on, open your mouth and let's pray tonight. Say, as you connected Mary with with John. Connect me with people that can meet my need. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from being alone. Connect me with people that will meet my need. As you connected Mary with John, let me also be connected with people that can be of help to me in one way or another where I need help. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, you connected your mother with John. Papa, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me with people uh, that can be of help to me, uh, that can meet my need, uh, that can help me in my academics, uh, that can help me in my ministry, uh, even me myself that is leading the prayer, all I do is ministry, uh, oh Lord God, uh, connect me with people that will help me in ministry, oh God, uh, that will show me one or two things that will help my ministry to, to go forward, uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, pray that prayer one one more time. Say, oh Lord, as you connected Mary with John, connect me with people that can meet my need, that can help me in life. In the name of Jesus. Now let's pray this next prayer. Say, short term help us. Long term help us. Lifetime help us. Let them not be missing in my life, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Short term help us. Long term help us. Lifetime help us. In the name of Jesus. Somebody should compose a song on that. I said short term help us. Long term help us. Lifetime help us. Papa, let them not be missing in my life, oh God. And where they are missing. I pray that this holy week, as you did for Mary, you will do it for me also. In the name of Jesus. You know the kind of help us I need, oh Father. I pray that you will send them to me. Send them to me during this holy week, during this Easter season. Short term help us, long term help us, lifetime help us. Papa, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me. As you connected Elijah to Elisha in the name of Jesus, Elisha was connected to Elijah so he can fulfill his destiny in ministry. Say, Oh Lord, and I see many ministers on this prayer line tonight. If you are not connected with the right people in ministry, you will never fulfill your destiny. I want you to pray tonight uh, as you connected Elisha to Elijah. Connect me with those who will take me to my destiny in ministry, destiny on my job, destiny in my profession. Uh, Papa, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me in the name of Jesus. Uh, I saw somebody on this prayer line a few minutes ago. Uh, she's a lady in my church. Uh, somebody needed help uh, in the field where she is. Uh, and the person came to me and said, Bishop, I need help in this area. I said, let me talk to sister so and so. And I called both of them into my office. I talked to her and she said, you know what? I will connect you with somebody. I saw this young man uh, on the phone. Well, I called him on the phone. I said, Are you, is the connection still strong? Oh, he said, Bishop, is strong and is going forward. That's what happens. He will take him to his destiny. Without that connection, he will live in frustration with all the education that he had. Say, oh Lord, my God, Oh Lord my God, as you connected Elisha to Elijah in their field, as you connected Elisha to Elijah in their field, Father in my own field also.
also. Father, in my own profession also, connect me with those that will help me fulfill destiny. Connect me with those that will help me do well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look at how God connected Joshua to Moses. And Joshua helped uh, Moses. And Moses helped Joshua to fulfill destiny. Say, oh Lord, I need to fulfill destiny in my life. Papa, as you connected Joshua to Moses, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me with help us to min- destiny. Help us in ministry. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I said you need help us. Go and ask David. He will tell you about Jonathan. I want you to pray tonight, oh God, as you connected David to Jonathan. Connect me with those that will make my journey to destiny easier. You know how Jonathan was used by God to deliver David from so many troubles. Coming from King Saul, I want you to pray that those who will deliver me, those who will deliver me from those who are out to destroy me, connect me with them, connect me with them, connect me with them. So many times. Hey, Jonathan delivered David, oh, that his father was so angry, he wanted to call, he wanted to kill him. At a point, he called him a bastard. At a point, he even cursed the mother of Jonathan. That's how much he wanted David. But because David was connected with Jonathan, there are people you can be connected with. It may be a prophet, it may be a pastor, it may be an evangelist that will help you that the hand of the enemy will not touch you. Oh, God! I come before you tonight as you connected David to Jonathan. Connect me, O Lord, with those that you will use to save my life, with those that you will use to prolong my life. You see why I said you need to spread the word about the program of tonight? You see why I said you need to share the link? Somebody needs to be connected so Saul will not kill them. Somebody needs to be connected with a Jonathan in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be surprised to hear me say what I'm about to say now. You could be connected to a witch. You could be connected to a witch so that they will not kill you in their coven so that where they are planning to kill you or kill your children, this witch will stand up and say, no, 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 no. Please don't touch Mr. So-and-so. Please don't touch the child of Mr. So-and-so. He helped me do this. He helped me do that. We are connected. Even though he does not know that I'm a witch. Even though he does not know I'm practicing witchcraft. But I'm connected to him on the job. I'm connected to him in business. So don't touch him. I want you to pray whoever I need to be connected with, oh God. Whoever they are, oh God. If God could connect someone to a raven, and you know how impure a raven is. That's how God looked at ravens in the Old Testament. And yet God connected him, Elijah, to this raven. God can connect you to anybody that will help sustain your life. Say, oh Lord, connection, 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 connection. Connection to help us. Like David was connected to Jonathan. Connect me, connect me, connect me with those that will make my journey to destiny easier. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I hope you are not just looking at me. I hope you are not just saying, I know this man somewhere. Forget about where you know me. Forget about my name. Let's talk about connection. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, connect us, connect us, connect us. You remember Remember Priscilla and Aquila in the New Testament, how they were connected to Apollos in the name of Jesus. And Apollos helped their faith. This was a couple, husband and wife. I want you to pray that me and my husband, me and my wife, oh Lord, connect us, connect us to those that will help our faith. Connect us to those that will help our business. Connect us to those who will help our finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know, as I read the Bible, the Bible is a book of connections. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my Lord and my God, as the Samaritan was connected to the man that was injured between Jerusalem and Jericho, I want you to pray that God will send you helpers to help ease your pains. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are not told who the, who the name of this man is. We are just told he's a Samaritan. Oh, God will bless you. I want you to pray for 
for connection, connection, connection that will remove your pains, connection that will remove your injuries, connection. Many of us have been injured in our journey in life and we need to be connected to someone that will carry us, carry us to the inn, carry us for, for, for medical help. I want you to pray that every pain in your life right now, I don't know where the pain is, I don't know what the pain is, but God can connect you with a Samaritan. I told you this thing is not only Christian. Oh, don't get me wrong. Oh, I said this thing is not only Christians. God can connect you with Samaritans. Where, where, where priests will not help you. Where the sons of Levi, a Levite will not help you. And God will touch a Samaritan who is not supposed to help you. He will rise up and he will help you. I want you to pray, oh Lord, raise them all, raise them all, raise them all from the north, raise them all from the south as the ravens and the widow woman were able to help Elijah because you commanded them. Go and read that passage. The Bible says, I've commanded the widow woman. I want you to pray that commands will rise up right now. Oh Lord, send commands. Oh Lord, send commandments. Oh Lord, send instructions. Open your mouth and let's pray tonight. Oh Lord, send out commandments. Oh Lord, send out instructions because of me that is in need of help. With them up in the night and command them. With them up in the day and command them. As they drive to their job, command them. As they take a shower, oh Lord, command them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you commanded the ravens, as you commanded the widow woman to feed Elijah. Oh Lord, command my helpers to be sources of provision for me, oh God. Command my helpers, command my helpers, command my helpers to be sources of provision for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it's amazing how God can help you. Hey! I remember one time, I had a situation going on in a court and uh, they were saying that uh, they are going to do do this to us and do the it was I was not the only one but they were saying they were going to do the it had to do with our church I'm going to do this to you I'm going to do that to you you know hey, hey you know what happened it was the lawyer that was arguing against us glory to God the lawyer arguing against us uh, that told us you know what you can do it this way you can do it this way and all this problem will be over I said what I said I didn't know that he said you didn't know okay do it this way do it this way, do it this way and everything will be over and you know what? <laughs> we did it that way we did it that way and the problem was over settled out of court uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will use uh, will use those who you never thought can it can use you will use to those who, who who are even your enemies to become your friends and become your helpers in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray that God will move people into your life from the north from the south from the east and from the west come on there are people in the north come on there are people in the south come on there are people in the east and the west that can help you people of a different tongue people of a different color people of a different nationality. You never know, you never know, you never know. Papa, move them in, move them in, move them in, move them in. In the name of Jesus, Papa, move them in into my life. Move people in from the north, move people in from the south, from the east and from the west to help elevate me in life. People that will help elevate me in life. Papa, move them in and connect me with them. One of my br our brothers in the church here, he told me a story I will never forget. He said he went to Nigeria to build a house and he saw like a nine-year-old girl carrying bricks and carrying blocks at the site. And he said, what are you doing here, nine-year-old, carrying bricks and blocks? That's how God connected that nine-year-old to this brother in my church. Do you know he sponsored this child up to university level. He, she stopped walking like that immediately. And he was a blessing to this girl. When she was going out that day, she never knew she would meet a man that would change her life through divine connection to a helper. Say, oh Lord, every day I get out of my house. Every day I get out of my office. Every day I step out of my building. Let me meet with, with helpers that I'm not expecting. Let me be connected with helpers 
that I'm not expecting. Let them have compassion for me. Let them have compassion for my situation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, move them in into my life from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Move them, oh Lord, people of different tongue, people of different color. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, like you did for Mary on a day that I don't expect. Connect me with helpers. On a day that I don't expect, Papa, connect me with helpers. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Hey, Mary. Mary was not expecting that that day. Uh -uh. She just went to the cross to see his son being killed at the cross. He wasn't expecting anything. I wanted to pray, oh Lord, he did that I don't expect help. Send me helpers. He did that I don't expect help. Papa, send me helpers. That's how you did for Mary. That's how he did for Mary. All Mary's on this prayer line. It's your turn to be blessed. Oh, in the name of Jesus. All Elijah's on this prayer line. It's, we better claim it and believe it. If God did it for your namesake, he can do it for you. Oh, you say, but I'm not Mary. I'm not Elijah. It doesn't matter because God is not a respecter of persons. Claim me tonight. Claim me tonight. In the name of Jesus. At a time that I least expect, Lord, connect me with the right people. Papa, connect me with the right people. At a time that I least expect, Expect. Father, connect me with the right people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can you imagine? <laughs> she went to the cross, the least place that you expect to be connected with a helper is at the cross. But that was where this lady was connected to a helper. Oh Lord! In places that I least expect. Oh Lord, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me, connect me with helpers on the street. Connect me with helpers in traffic. Connect me with helpers in the name of Jesus. Many of you have heard me tell the story many years ago. I went to deliver pizza. That's all I did. Oh, I went to deliver pizza. And I did not know it was a day of connection for me. I was connected to a bank president who gave me a job the next day without applying divine connection oh lord arise 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 on my job connect me oh lord god in my church connect me oh lord on the road connect me oh lord in the grocery connect me everywhere i go let it be a place of connection in the name of jesus mary did not pray for connection oh ah Mary never prayed for connection. She just went to the cross and Jesus had it in mind. I'm going to connect mommy to this young man called John. I want you to pray, oh God, in the things that I don't even pray for, connections that I don't even pray for. Oh Lord, send them to me, send them to me. Surprise help us, surprise help us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Some of you need to pray prayer tonight. Oh, you know what that prayer is? The cord of wrong connections must be broken from your life. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the cord of wrong connections. Uh, Papa, break them from my life. Break them from my life. Uh, deliver me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, from getting into wrong connections. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray that where you have a tendency of falling into wrong hands, uh, the Lord will break the yoke tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my Lord. Say, my Father. The yoke. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, of falling Falling into wrong hands. Oh Lord, break them in my life. Break them from my life. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to pray for total strangers. Total strangers. Total strangers. Oh Lord, touch their hearts. Total strangers that you meet in the train. Total strangers that you meet in the airplane. Total strangers that you meet in the grocery. They will begin to show you favor. They will begin to show you great favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know what I was thinking about? 
fact that Mary, Mary, suppose Mary was not at the cross that day. There will have been no connection more than likely. I want you to pray, Lord God, let me always be at the right place at the right time with the right helpers in the name of Jesus. Say, oh my God, direct my feet, direct my steps to be at the right place at the right time with, to get the right connection, to get the right helpers. Are you looking for a husband? You are looking for a wife and you are praying? God can guide your steps. God can direct you to be at the right place at the right time to be connected to the one that will be your future partner. In the name of Jesus, Papa, guide me, direct my steps so I will be at the right place at the right time, oh Lord, to be connected with the right helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, can we pray for the hearts of those who are around you? For the hearts of those who are around you. Say, oh Lord, begin to move upon hearts. Begin to move upon hearts. Hearts of the right people to take me to the next level. Papa, move upon their hearts. Let them take me to the right le next level. Papa, move upon the hearts of the right people to take me to the next level. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, move upon the hearts of the right people around me that will take me to my next level in life. I want you to pray that God will bring into your life experts in the fields where you need help. God, bring experts into my life, into my business, into what I'm doing. They will just tell you one thing and it will change your life forever. Papa, let that be so tonight. Papa, let that be so tonight. Bring into our lives, oh God, people that know in the field that we don't know. In the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray a prayer of faith? Say, my father, like Mary, oh, like Mary, let my tomorrow help us be selected for me today in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my tomorrow help us let them be selected for me today oh God in the name of Jesus you know what Jesus did he looked at the future of his mother and he said this mommy will need a helper I want you to pray tonight and to pray by faith say oh Lord look into my future look into to my future. Look into my future. Look at the needs in my future and send me ready-made helpers. Ready-made helpers. Ready-made helpers. Ready-made helpers. Oh Lord, look into my future. Oh Lord, look into my tomorrow. Oh Lord, look into my destiny and send me ready-made helpers today in the name of Jesus. Do you know one thing? There was no record. There was no record that Mary ever suffered in life. No record. It's not in the Bible. Go read your Bible. No record that Mary ever suffered in life. Can I ask you to pray? Oh Lord, connect me with compassionate helpers that will fight my suffering on my on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. John wasn't working on behalf of Mary. He, he was working because Jesus gave, them, gave him instruction. Say, oh Lord, instruct somebody. Instruct somebody with compassion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Instruct somebody with compassion, oh Lord. And let me never suffer by being connected to them. Let me never suffer for money. Let me never suffer for good health. I want you to pray tonight, those of you that have health problems and you've gone to doctors that don't know. They know what they know, but they don't know what they don't know. I want you to pray, Lord, connect me with doctors that will help me put an end to my health problem in the name of Jesus. Only one call can change your life. Only one advice can change your health problems to be gone. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus. Send me, O oh Lord, connect me with the right doctor that will give me solution to this problem. You know, doctors know more than each other. I want you to pray that God will connect you with the right doctor. Maybe you have a case in court that God will connect you with the right lawyer, whatever it is. Maybe you have an immigration problem. There are some lawyers that don't know nothing. There are some lawyers that know a lot. Oh Lord, oh Lord, connect me with those who know. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Can I ask you to pray another prayer that God will not allow you to find help us when it is too late. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me not find help us when it is too late. Have you ever seen people go to a doctor and 
say, ah, if you had been here six months ago, it would have been good. We would have been able to help you. But now it is too late. We have helped so many people. I wish you knew about us earlier. I want you to pray, oh Lord God, help me not find my helpers when it is too late. Oh, in the name of Jesus, whatever helpers I need in my life, let me not find them when it is too late for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray another prayer. Oh, hey. You know, when you are helping somebody, there are some people who don't like these people that are helping you. So they go to them and they say, why are you spending money like this? Why are you spending time like this? I want you to pray tonight. Let my helpers be those that cannot be talked out of helping me in the name of Jesus. Let my helpers be those that cannot be stopped from helping me in the name of Jesus. Let my helpers be those that cannot be manipulated from helping me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, can I ask you to pray that God will send you helpers that will look for nothing in return. In the name of Jesus, helpers that are just doing it because God instructed them to do it. They are not looking for anything in return. Father, send me such helpers. Father, send me such helpers. Come and open your mouth. we got just 10 more minutes. Papa, send me such helpers, oh God, that are not looking for nothing. They are only looking for the glory of God. Papa, send us helpers like that. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are not looking for anything in return. They are just doing it for God. I want you to pray for your children that wherever they go in life, God will send help us to them. Mention the names of your children. That wherever they go, in city and in, in, in town, in the village, and outside the country, they will always find helpers. They will never, 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 never lack helpers. In the name of Jesus. Do you have a child that is in trouble right now? And a helper can help him? And a helper can help her? Why don't you bring them before God? Father, send help to so and so. Father, send help to so and so. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, I pray for my children wherever they go in life. Let them always find willing helpers to help them. In the name of Jesus, help us that will help elevate my children. It's a selfish world we live in, but God can touch somebody's heart that will tell your child, do it this way, do it this way, do it this way. I want you to pray even in the corporate world. God will send your children help us. God will send you help us that will help elevate you. In the name of Jesus, in the business world, Oh Lord, send me, O oh Lord, help us, compassionate help us, willing help us, that will elevate me in life. What about in your academic, in your academics, God will connect you with help us, that will help you with courses that you're having problem with. Maybe you've tried to pass an exam, but you have failed and failed and failed. Maybe what you need is a helper. Oh Lord, in my academic life, send me help. In my health life, help me, say, yes, send me help us. In my financial life, send me help us. In the name of Jesus, in all my undertakings in life, come and open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray that in all your undertakings in life, you will find help us. Anything you lay your hand on, you will find help us. In the name of Jesus. Do you notice something? We never read it, but you know the story. God commanded the widow woman, help Elijah, but she was reluctant to. She was. I want you to pray. I want you to pray, want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, whichever helper you have chosen for me that is reluctant, prevail on them, prevail on them, prevail on them, prevail on them to begin doing your will for my life. Whoever the helpers are that you have commanded to help me, but they are slow, they are dragging their feet. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, walk on them, walk on them, walk on them to begin doing your will for my life in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whoever is all dragging their feet, I don't know if I want to help. I don't know if I don't want to help. Oh Lord, the commandment you have given them, let them not turn it down, let them not turn it down, let them not turn it down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that oh, mark upon you, if there be any mark upon me, come on, pray, 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 pray. Say, oh Lord, if there be any mark upon me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
Jesus. If there be any mark upon me, O God, that makes help us to suddenly change their minds, that makes help us to suddenly leave for no reason, O Lord, remove those marks from me, O God, those that have promised me so much, and they have even done so much, and all of a sudden, they just they just disappear. Oh Lord, if there be any manipulation against me, if there be any attack against me that makes help us to suddenly leave for no cause, oh Lord, remove that mark from me, remove that manipulation from me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's bind them, say I bind them, say I bind them, say I bind them. Don't worry, I will tell you what to bind. <laughs> say I bind them. Come on, say I bind them. Come on, say I bind them. Spirits that talk help us out of compassion. Evil spirits, witchcraft spirits that talk help us out of compassion. I bind you and I banish you from my life. I bind you and I banish you from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I bind every spirit. I bind every demon that talks help us out of of compassion in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself also, my brothers and my sisters, that the Lord will deliver you from actions that scare divinely appointed helpers off. I want us to spend some time in this prayer, even though we have just four more minutes. Say, oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord. Papa, deliver me from taking my helpers for granted. Did you hear? <laughs> deliver me from taking my helpers for granted. Pray that prayer. Oh, hey. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. You know, when you are relaxed with your helpers, uh, when you are comfortable with your helpers, uh, you begin to say things that will turn them off. You begin to do things that will turn them off. Uh, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from actions uh, that scare off divinely appointed helpers uh, in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, there are divinely appointed helpers uh, that people that they are helping have scared them off. I want you to pray, oh Lord, let me not scare them off. Let them not do anything. Let me not take any step that will make them change their minds about helping me. Deliver me from actions that scare off divinely appointed helpers. In the name of Jesus, I told you earlier that John lived the longest of all the apostles. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my divinely appointed helpers will not die when I need them. In the name of Jesus. You can look into your life right now. You can look at the helpers in your life right now. If they died, if they died, ah, there will be trouble for you. I want you to pray that God will grant him long life. God will grant her long life. God will grant them long life. Because sometimes we have more than one of them. Oh Lord, my divinely appointed helpers, I decree that they will not die while I need them. In the name of Jesus, even while I stop needing them, I decree that you will give them longer life. In the name of Jesus, can we pray a prayer? You know that God compensated the widow woman for helping Elijah. Let's pray for your helpers. Say, oh Lord, compensate my helpers. Compensate my helpers. Compensate my helpers. Compensate my helpers. Anyone that has ever helped me in any form, in any way, in any shape, Father, let them get compensation this month of April that we're about to step into. Let something good happen in their lives in this month of April that we're about to get into. Whoever has helped me financially, whoever has helped me educationally, whoever has helped me in ministry, whoever has helped me in any form, in any way, in any shape, Papa, compensate them with good health. Papa, whichever way they have helped me, compensate them, compensate their children, mention their names, that the Lord will compensate them with long, 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 long life. In the name of Jesus, Papa, do it for them, do it for them, do it for them. Do glorious things for them, O oh God, even in their lives, as they have done glorious things in my life. In the name of Jesus, you bless that widow woman. Even her cruise of oil never dried up as long as the famine lasted. Oh Lord, anyone that has helped anyone on this prayer line, let them begin to see the hand of God. Let them begin to see the favor of God. Let them begin to see the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to pray that God will give you grace to be a helper to others in your own little way. From tonight on, my Lord and my God, 
grace to be a helper, grace to be a helper, grace to be a helper to others in my own little way. Uh, everybody can help somebody. Oh. Everybody can help somebody. I want you to pray that God will give you the grace uh, to be able to use your resources, uh, to be able to use your talents, uh, to be able to use your gifts uh, to help somebody in your own little tiny way. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray that God will never help you. God will always help you uh, to never fail in your calling. Uh, in the name of Jesus, to help others. Uh, we have all been called to help others uh, that we will not fail, that we will not fail, that we will not fail in that calling to help others in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, I thank you and I bless you. Uh, I want you to pray this final prayer. Say, door of divine helpers, uh, open for me. Uh, connection with divine helpers, uh, open for me. Uh, any area where I lack help, uh, oh Lord, connect me with divine helpers. That's our last prayer for tonight. Uh, Papa, connect me with divine helpers. Uh, oh Lord, connect Connect me with compassionate helpers. Uh, any area of my life where I need help, uh, I'm asking for divine connection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my life is connected. My finances are connected. Uh, my marriage is connected. Uh, my ministry is connected. Uh, my health is connected. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, come on, begin to thank God for answering our prayers. Begin to thank God for tonight. We bless his name. We worship him. We adore him. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. Thank you, Lord, for being here with us. Thank you, Lord, for connecting us with this prayer line. We bless you for it. E glory be to your name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Spirit. I pray that these prayers that you have prayed will become reality in your lives. That you will be connected. You will be connected with someone selected by God to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if there be anything in your life that drives help us away, the Lord will drive those things away and reconnect those that have been disconnected from you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will move forward in life and you will fulfill destiny through these divine connections that you begin to walk into from now on. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. All God's people everywhere said amen and amen and amen and amen. Two announcements and I will let you go. Don't forget to join us on Sunday night. Sunday night at 7 p.m. New York time for crossover and communion service. Don't miss it. That will be Sunday evening. 7 p.m. New York time, crossover and communion service. Tomorrow we're going to pray about another saying on the cross. This one is powerful too, like all of them are. Please join us tomorrow at 7 o'clock and don't forget to bring your prayer list as you come. Shall we share the grace as we go relax for the evening? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Good night and stay connected to help us. Bye-bye.